back, man. We back. We back, man. Backlash. Backlash was really good. Really, really good. But today came to talk about a little bit about the draft and a little bit about the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Quote unquote tournament. So right now, um, it seems to be that we got some people that should. I, I, well, at least that I, me, I don't think some people should be in this tournament. I don't think. I think it should be strictly a raw thing. I don't know why they have. Some guys on SmackDown. I don't know why they're doing it on SmackDown too. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so they're starting off the draft terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Um, I thought this was only going to be a Raw. You know what I mean? Raw. Everybody who, who, who got drafted to the Raw will be able to uh, go ahead and challenge for that championship. But they're letting people from SmackDown do it, and I don't, I don't agree with that. Because if they're on SmackDown, why even, why even give them the chance? Like. Go after Roman. Roman's there for a reason. Go after Roman for a reason, man. But let's go into the list of people that's on, that's going to be uh, competing for this uh, championship. Uh, so one, starting off terribly wrong with Cody. Cody? We know Cody's going to be going after Roman. Why even put him in this position where he could lose or you know he doesn't. We know he don't even want want anything to do with this championship. We all know this. This doesn't make any sense. Why? <laughs> and this championship is set to win. Honestly, I think. See, I think they're gonna have Cody versus Seth, and I think Seth's gonna beat Cody. But if that was gonna be the case, why not just do all Raw stars and just have them? Eventually, just meet up at the end. But I think Cody and Seth, either Cody's going to get knocked out of one of the triple threat matches. That's obvious. and Or he's going to get beaten by whoever he faces at the end of, um, the, end of the show. So, it's, so what's going to be happening is they're going to have two uh, triple threat matches on the show. Probably be, okay, so we're going to say, so one triple threat match is probably going to be Damian Priest... Um, Shinsuke, this is on Raw, so it's probably gonna be Damian Priest, Shinsuke, um, Miz. There you go, Damian Priest, Shinsuke, and Miz. Um, or Damian Priest, Shinsuke, and Seth Rollins, because that makes more sense. And then the other one's probably gonna be Ray, Finn Balor, and um, Ray, Finn Balor, and Cody. And that makes sense as well. So it's probably going to be Finn and Seth at the end of the show. A Raw. Which, uh, why? Uh, why? Why? Um, and then on SmackDown, it's probably going to be like Bobby. Um, Bobby, AJ, and Theory, probably. Or Sheamus. I would, put Sheamus. I, I, I would rather do Sheamus. I'd rather put Sheamus in there and then do, do Edge. Edge. Um... Edge, who else is on the SmackDown? Bob, wait, no, Edge. Oh, who's on SmackDown? Right? Well, Edge Theory and who's the last guy? There's one more SmackDown guy. There should be one more SmackDown guy. But yeah, I'm I'm mixing it up. But well, who I want to see in that is probably Bobby. And Edge, to be honest, coming out of there. But, um, because I, they never faced before, and Edge's face is all, faced, faced against all those guys other than Bobby. Um, but I wouldn't do Edge versus, why would you do Edge versus Seth, or Edge versus any of these guys? Seth versus Drew, or no, I said Edge versus any of that. I mean, Seth. Why would you do Seth versus any of these guys? At the pay-per-view. He's faced all of them. The only one he hasn't beaten is Cody. And, 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 and I don't want to see Finn versus... Which could be cool. Finn versus Seth at the show could be cool. But it's like... 
we've seen this match a thousand times. And if anything, I would give the championship to Finn. Because, one, the Judgment Day has been one of the very, very great bright spots. Even though people just think Seth deserves it because he's been holding out and he's been like the second or third best guy. Like, no. I think if anybody's going to win this, it should, be a, it should be a heel. I think a heel should win this championship. Just so you give the, the baby faces something to chase after. Which they're just gonna give it to Seth anyway. So the thing about this, man, it's just like we don't need any of these SmackDown guys in there. We don't need Cody in there. You could have put God. You could have brought some new faces into what's going on over there in Raw. Which you got a lot of new faces. Utilize them. I don't understand. Utilize these guys. You got Bronson Reed. You know what I mean. You got um, who else they they get on Raw? Um, you got Rey Mysterio, which you could put in put them in this tournament. You know what I mean? You've got guys on the Raw roster that you can put up there and have face these bigger guys and build off of those guys. I don't understand. And I would put Dom in, in this tournament too. Just because, just because, you know, let's let's try to move uh, Dom forward. You know what I mean? Get him into some title matches, championship matches, which I think him and Damian Priest are probably going to go after the tag team championships, which they should and which they should win because I think, um, I honestly think uh, Judgment Day should have some titles, more titles because they already got one with uh, Rhea. But, oh man, I'm just, uh, it's just frustrating how, you know, they say they want, they're going to do some different things and flip upside Flip WB upside down and all that, you know what I mean, with this draft. But it's the same stuff. Nothing has changed with this draft. This tournament doesn't make any sense. You bring in SmackDown guys. You said the, dra the draft is final. Once Backlash was over, Backlash is over. Backlash is over. We're trying to move forward now. So why is this? Why would they even think about doing this? One, they should have just had a tournament. To see who's facing Roman next. Obvious. That's so obvious. But obviously the bloodline, they're going to be doing, they're doing their own thing. They're doing their own thing completely out of the realm of WWE. Is WWE and bloodline not the other way around? And it's just like, come on, guys. Let's get, let's move, let's move forward with Roman. Give him a should have been the tournament to see who's facing Roman on SmackDown and a tournament to see who's going to be the new World Heavyweight Championship on Raw. Easy money. Simple. Keep it simple, man. Why, why do we have to complicate these things? This is not a complication type thing, man. This doesn't... I don't... Look, I don't get it. People still saying... Uh, this nigga fucking... Triple H is the greatest or whatever, but like, bro, I don't, sometimes I just, I'm just not feeling it, man. And uh, granted, I think, um, Mr. McMahon, Vince McMahon would have probably did the same thing, but it's like, come on guys, come on, man. This is, this is stupid. No, it's, it's not fully stupid, but this, what they're doing with the SmackDown and Raw and trying to combine them when they just said, talked about the draft and all that, it's just like, it doesn't make any sense. And that's basically my little rant about this whole thing, man. The World Heavyweight Championship title picture is just like, <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. We, we're seeing the same faces. We need to see some of the same faces. But the main thing is we need to see new faces. New faces, man. And that's, and that's it. That's all I got, man. You know, we got some new people and we need to utilize those guys. We're not, we got new people on Raw. Let's utilize them. Easy. Yes, let's utilize them. Keep it simple. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all can watch my first, my last video about night one. Fire, heat. Go check that out. Um, I'm, I'm going to go live tonight on Raw. After Raw. Sorry, excuse me. And we're going to talk more about it after we see what happens on Raw. So, appreciate y'all for watching. We out.